Oh. A wild classroom of eco geeks exploring biodiversity. The world is a beautiful mystery. Life, learning, and discovery. E e e e e e e go geeks. Oh, We're going to be looking at stream and river habitats. <laughs> While every stream and river in the world is going to work differently, the general concepts are going to be the same. So we thought we'd take a trip to Montana to look at the complex and wonderful stream habitats. For this expedition, we've organized a six-day rafting trip down Montana's Smith River. So let's hit the river. One thing that I'm noticing as we're drifting down this river is that not only is the geology of the area shaping where this river goes, but the river itself is shaping the geology of the area. For instance, as the river meanders, the weight and speed of the water is greatest on the outer banks, thus eroding the side of the river and oftentimes creating a cliff like we have here and like the one Rob is on. Now the slower moving water on the inner bank then deposits the sediment and builds up the land into nice flat areas that are great for campsites and boat landings. For me, the coolest part about this river are the plant and animal interactions that make up the food web. It all starts with microorganisms, algae, and plants that grow in the water and on the rocks. Algae and plants photosynthesize, converting light to energy. They are then eaten by small aquatic bugs, who are then eaten by fish. So a good example of how we depend on these intricate food web relationships and our need to observe nature is when we go fly fishing. Do you even know how to fish, dude? <laughs> Ten to two. <laughs> how do you outlet this? Evan? With all that said and done, I wish we could talk more about the insects, the arthropods, the mollusks, the plants, the animals, all those creepy crawlies and amazing living organisms living amongst the riverine habitat. But we just don't have enough time. So we'll have to leave finding out the details to you. For more information, log on to the wildclassroom.com backslash habitats. And we encourage you to never stop exploring. Go for it. Keep going. <laughs> 